Hmm. Is that it? Are the best you can do with your quirk, Kotsky? Am I... Say, I'm kind of disappointed. It's a, you know, a explosion quirk. I would have expected more from you. Where you call me that, but here you are on the ground, beaten. Hell, your friends even left you behind. <sighs> you know, maybe having work isn't so great after all. I mean, I'm quirkless, yeah, I was able to beat you quite easily. Seems like nothing has changed since we were kids. As yes, this version of Deku is quirkless, but also very determined and pretty skilled martial artist. Yeah, even though Bakugo is still somewhat of an asshole, the day Izuku actually changed was really after he got his ass whooped by Bakugo when they were were still kids and he tried to defend another child. This got him more determined to prove that he don't need a quirk to be strong. So you can just imagine how uh, the thoughts of Go, one who was not only crazy for having a quirk, but a strong quirk, but someone who really is a cocky bastard. But here's the problem. As soon as Izuku actually did start training and getting better at using his fists and martial arts, but no real quirk or power before, he started to get more arrogant. Those you don't should know from a punch man. Bang was very area and malicious when he was younger. He was so strong, he, he didn't have to worry about no one checking him. Except for, of course, one person, his brother, Bomb. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Now, we're back to the present, where, yeah, I'll go guys ask what I to you again. And Izuku is pretty much disappointed. After all this rambling of how strong your quirk is, I'm not gonna lie, even I thought it was amazing. But they had to start acting like the villain. Just had to get on top of a high horse and Bullying people. I was the strongest. Yeah, you were in our group the strongest, but not anymore. And I think it's kind of sad. As boastful as you are, as proud of your quirk as you are, you are still not good enough. You came to be me, and uh, remember I'm quirkless? No real power besides my own true effort. But I'm not gonna lie. Mari does want to thank you, Godski. If it weren't for you being such an ass that day, I, yeah, I probably would stayed weak in fact I actually find this quite interesting
I wonder how far I can really take this. What? <laughs> you know what? This is actually quite interesting when you think about it. All your boastfulness of how strong you are. Where, yeah, you're not strong at all, are you? <laughs> yeah, if anything, it's your quirk. Without it, you're just weak. Hmm. I gotta say, I'm kind of giddy how this can turn out. What are you gonna do? Uh, let me think. I already beat you again. And eh, you weren't much of a real challenge. <sighs> what if I you start challenging more hard people? Seeing just how weak you are with your quirk, I just can't imagine how strong others can be. Who knows? Maybe one of these days I can actually fight All Might. <laughs> Don't be stupid, there's no way. Uh, hey, you have no right to say anything. You're the weakest one here. Between the two of us. <sighs> you need to be taught a more intense lesson before you truly believe that. If anything. Which arm is your favorite? Wait, what? You know that. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Where's the start next? Just then, there's a knock on Izuku and Go's door. Of course, you can imagine, it's Witsuki. And she's wondering, Inko, what the hell? What? What happened? Your son broke me. My son's arm. What? This... No, 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 no. That can't be. Is it okay? Yeah. Oh, what's up? Did you break Kowski? Yes, I did. Why? You need to learn a lesson. Learn a... What could you possibly teach him that, that he is not the strongest, that he is not the best? The sooner he learns that, the better. He needs to learn that he needs to stay outside. He needs to mind his business. Stay out of my way. And this is when Miski just rushes to Izuku, grabs him by his shoulder, and yells at him, You little shit! No one gets to hurt my son but me! I'm sorry, what? Let me put this in language that you will understand. If he gets hurt, by me. That could be seen as parenting. Others well, might say child abuse. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. But when some little bastard ends up doing it, this is when Inko chimes up. It's like, wait a minute. Of all the things, my son might have gone a little too far. I can't, I can't agree to that. He, he might have 
overdone it when it comes to uh, teaching your son a lesson. Eco, please don't tell me you condone this. No. No. Listen, Mitsuki. If anything, this we can see it says your son gang was coming to him. What? Zoo leaves look shocked. Who are you? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, wow, you, you got me back at this. Not now. I'm still upset. Fair, fair, okay. We see just getting up on Inko's face and wondering, okay, what are you talking about? What do you mean getting what he, it's coming to him? Your son abuses people with his quirk. No one says out the word for years. Hey, I punished my kid. What do you do? Take away his electronics? Does he even really use them to begin with besides his quirk? Does he even know how to play a handheld game? Does he do anything besides abuse other kids with his power? I... You don't know. Of course you don't. <sighs> Look, Mizuki, I, I understand where you're coming from. Parmi is even upset at Mizuki for doing this. He should know there's a better way to resolve arguments. Okay, I did not want to pull this card, but would make it might make me uh, feel. Make you feel a little better if I told you that he started. Excuse me? Oh yes, it all started when we were kids. Where he beat me. And this other kid, he was bullying. I stuck up for the kid, but I got my butt whooped. Really? And Koski with his arm in a cast is like... You pick one hell of a time to start snitching. Anyway, uh, Miss Bakugo, Mrs. Yep, I'm married, girl. Damn, that's right, you are. Damn. Damn. Yeah, either way, either way. That, that day made me want to train to get as strong as I am now to whoop your son's ass. I would have left him completely alone if he would have done me one simple favor. Would you like to know what that favor would, would, would be? Once, if he would have left me the hell alone and just let me train in peace. Katsuki, is this true? Okay, in my defense, he was getting cocky as hell. Seriously, flaunting his new <laughs> physique and muscles and everything. Are you kidding me? What? The reason why... He ends up beating you? Wait, that's right. When did you really start fighting each other again? I mean, after your whole, you know, metamorphosis. <laughs> it, we, we've been fighting ever since. I started training. And I'm not gonna lie, when I, my training was in its earlier stages, I did still lose. But then I slowly got better and started winning. Which, for some reason, gave him the green light again. 
uh, I guess, to start messing with me again. So, I try to be all peaceful. I try to be somewhat of a, you know, mediator or something. Voice of reason. But he didn't want that. So, I had to not only keep training, but I had to put him in his place. And then, this is last night. I figured something out. I know what to do. It's not to really talk things out. No. Too many people think too highly of quirks for that. And the best things I can do is to show them. Break their whole world view on quirks and the quirkless. And it's gonna be wonderful. What? Inko, or, 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 did you know about this? He's a good boy, but what do you plan on doing? I'm gonna keep fighting. I, I, I don't know. I, my mother, motherly instincts are telling me to stop you before you get hurt or arrested or worse. Trust me, mom. I, I will be just dandy. Wait, 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 wait. Please don't tell me you're doing what I think you're doing. What? Inko? Is your son doing what we think he's doing? Why? What am I doing? I really hope not, Mitsuki. I really hope he's not doing what we think he's doing. Again, what do you think I am doing? It sounds like you're declaring war against hurt people. What? That's what it sounds like. No, 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 I'm not doing that. What? No, what? seriously. World of powerhouses like all might in an endeavor. It starts in stripes. It's the rest of the villains who don't care about catching bodies. Why would I declare war on them? If anything, I'm just going to show that being quirkless isn't as bad as some people will think. What? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Kami. Oh, oh, Lord. I, I, oh, man, I was... Don't scare me like that ever again. It's not my fault you misinterpreted what I said. If, if anything, it's your own fault for thinking so so low of me. I love you, Zuko, but you, 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 you really need to be careful how you phrase things to people. Uh, if anything, it's great. Show people that they don't have to be hindered by quirklessness. Uh, but it still doesn't excuse you for breaking Tokyo's arm. Uh, what are you saying? You know exactly what I'm saying. Apologize. What? I gotta apologize. Oh man, that's what? Hey, what? Apologize before the end of this school year and 
you start your entrance exam. Or else, I will forbid you from attending. <laughs> what? Yeah. You, you can't do that. Oh, what I can. Uh, I... Ugh. I really have to apologize. Yes. Okay, fine. I'm... Nope, you gotta mean it. I do. Yes. You have to be genuinely sorry about what you did. At the very least, you have to be legitly sorry. Mm -hmm. Not sure I can do that. It's gonna be it's gonna be difficult considering all the crap he's me through. I don't care. I'm I'm serious. I just want to be left alone. I know. I understand that. But to prove a point does not mean you break someone's arm. Seriously, I taught I taught him a good lesson. Which is, fuck around and find out. He's, I swear, if you don't, okay, okay. Fine. Fine. That's key. I am real stinking. <clears throat> I am sincerely damn <clears throat> I'm sorry. Yes, even though you pretty much try to ostracize me from everyone else, as well as still bully other kids until I show up and put you on a leash, even though <clears throat> Is that what you call an apology? Hey, it's true. I'm serious, Izuku. Oh. Yo, would you please forgive me for my past transgressions? And I am truly, sincerely Genuinely, literally, and not non jokingly sorry for breaking your arm. I will do my utmost best to keep from doing that ever again, as long as I can help it. Easy goop just bows. Trying not to break his teeth under the pressure. Bago, though seeing this as a victory, is also still like, I need to train more. Last thing I need is to get my ass whooped again. Especially to the point where my arm gets broken. <sighs> you, you know what? Yeah, I forgive you. Let's try to be friends again. No. Excuse me? No, 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 no. You're not gonna try to be friends again. I... I don't understand. You bullied me like you... <sighs> Seriously. Despite me trying to be a peaceful person, you still want to smoke. It's only when you get your ass whooped that you want to try diplomacy. No, we're not going to be friends again. At least not yet. You're going to have to prove to me that 
We deserve to be friends again. That you deserve my friendship. At the very least. We're rivals. If that. And yes, this causes Bucko to actually get a slight smirk on his face. Him realizing this like Okay. Okay, I, I can I can know uh, I can work with that. <sighs> Rivals, huh? Well damn. Everything ever to you know my wildest dreams, I think I'd be rivals but or this person like you. <laughs> Keep talking, Sparkles. Keep talking. You still got one more arm and uh, two good legs and several intact ribs. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I suggest you and your mom. <laughs> your mom uh, <clears throat> can go home, please. His bogo does look at him like, Yeah, we'll do that. Do me a favor. Yes, like, stop checking out my mom, bastard. Remember, she's married. Like, yeah. Yeah, I know. Damn, am I, am I jealous? We see, of course, blushes at this, but also just socks Izuku in the head. Him looking like, what'd I do? Her up there, and just embarrassed. Even Inko's like, I can't believe what happened to you. I'll go in his and makes me leave. Inko still looking at Izuku like, damn, what, what happened? Seriously, how, how could you have changed so much from that sweet little boy? Hey, mom, don't, don't worry about what happened to me. Just be happy I'm still. Um. A nice kid, so to speak. <sighs> well, at the end of the day, you still need to be punished. What? Yes, I'm confiscating all your all my gear and merch. What? I don't really have much all my merch left. Excuse me? What's the last time you've been in my room? It's like... Oh. That's actually right. If anything, I haven't really had a reason to go in your room. Your... Your training mode. So the day. Hmm. Yeah, let, let me go see your room. As, yeah, there's just a whole heap of damn exercise, weight lifting, things are broken from cinder blocks to pretty much bent pipes. Ingo's just looking at all of this, seeing the bits of rock everywhere. Oh my god, what has my son become? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry for the mess. Why? Hmm? What? Like, what, what, what? Why? Why all this? Okay, I'll clean up the rocks and all the broken debris. You just... Please, don't, don't freak out. It's one thing for you to train, but for you to be able to do this... Like, how did, how did you bend this pipe? He's a good, just using selfish strength, just bends it right, back straight. Like, are you sure you're quirkless? 
Oh yeah, most definitely. If I could have done this while I was four years old, I would have been more skeptical. Over that damn doctor's diagnosis. Yeah. But for some reason, I... I don't know. What? It's just that after I had lost the Bakugo that one time, I felt something I didn't like. I felt... Hmm... Helpless. I understand. Yeah, but I, I really just didn't like that feeling whatsoever. So, I decided to make myself stronger. Safe to say, it worked. <sighs> One thing's for certain, I do not want to feel that way ever again. <sighs> okay. You try anything? If that's all we have to talk about, I would appreciate it if you... Uh, could just uh, continue being a great mom. They hug, and that is the end of that. As time goes by, Izuku and Bago do get more relatively close. Even though Bago did have to cut back on his training, they said the broken arm. And uh, considering Izuku is not uh, the same as in the role he used to be. Yeah, no one uh, laughs or mocks him when, they, uh, when he says he wants to be a hero and or go to UA High. But yeah, they encourage him. And Bongo was pretty much saying, yeah, you better break into UA or else I will kick your ass. So everything's good. Because of the an incident, Izuku does notice him. Only thing is, it's a bit harder to fight the sludge villain for him. So he actually does have to end up making uh, air pressure through his punches. Though working, it takes more effort than it would All Might. All Might seeing that wow, this kid is strong as hell wonder what his quirk is, probably something similar to mine. Actually asks Izuku what his quirk is. But Izuku says he has no quirk. All Might is nothing if not shocked. But he, oh my god, a good boy. If he really doesn't have a quirk. Huh. In the future, he might be on par with me. Hmm. Interesting. Not noticing he's a good already up and left. So, yeah. He didn't even ask for an autograph. He just wanted to be on his way. This is when he does notice something. He's, you know, this is a, a lot of uh, fighting, at least the sounds of a fight. Of course, he didn't want to be nosy as hell, he decides, why not check it out? And of course, this is actually a street fight. He sees a crowd of people, he's wondering, what are y'all doing, why is this... Seeing people hold, clutching money in their hands, and two poor bastards are fighting like hell. Quirks? Or no quirks? And this actually interests Izuku. Wanted to know, like, huh, how do I get in on this? Them seeing that he's just a kid, they do try to ignore him or just brush him aside. But then someone does end up 
showing up, telling him, okay, how about this? I'll set you up a fight today. You win? Great! We both make some money. You lose? And just put on a good show. And Izuku, of course, recognizes this person about to say his family name, but stops himself just to just not to push his luck. Of course, Izuku does end up getting his fight. He is very much interested in seeing who he's going to be up against. Luckily for him, or eh, seemingly unlucky, this person does have a strength enhancement quirk. And of course, they want to know what this kid's quirk is. Then like he's quirkless, like all oh, hell, we just made some easy money. And Zuku's new sponsor is pretty much like, damn, what did I do? Pretty much killed this poor boy. Everyone is surprised until uh, the unexpected happens. Yeah, Izuku whoops his ass. Of course, everyone's wondering. Okay, this whole thing must be rigged. Especially trying to see if the guy's the very least faking it, or is he really unconscious, or, you know, past tense. Yeah, he's unconscious. He is not getting up anytime soon. Long upon closer examination, they see that his jaw has been dislocated, his shoulder was busted, as well as his knee. Mm -hmm. Going, uh, he's it's going to need realignment. Then worrying, there's no way this kid is quirkless. <sighs> it was just like, okay, who's next? Everyone just wondering. Okay, maybe the first time was a, was a fluke. It. Uh, uh, this guy probably had was uh, not feeling 100%. Let's, let's bring in another. They do. And time and time and time again, Izuku is destroying each and every one of these fighters. One has a fire breathing quirk. He pretty much <laughs> walks through it. The other one has a, a, a defense quirk. Izuku breaks it. And yeah, he's pretty much undefeated this whole time. And you can just imagine people thinking Izuku was a weakling or at least lying about not having a quirk. Yeah, they want their money back. So Izuku actually gives them a proposition. He'll fight every single one of them and or their fighters. And if he loses, they get their money back for each one that he beats. They had to pay him double. And of course, for this being a street fight, there are no real rules. I mean, quirks, weapons, dirty blows, such as biting, as well as <laughs> groin shots, hair pulling. Yeah, it's legal. Because everyone knows there's no such thing as a fair fight. Of course, they take this deal. They can, yeah, this kid's luck just ran out. They had a lot of quirks to use. They had a lot of equipment that they could have used. The only problem is that does not work for Izuku. With the hellish training that he's put himself through, you would you would believe that he's a 
came back from the dead a few times. Or he might be in the wrong anime universe. At the end of the day, all that matters is that he wins. And he's made a lot of money. In fact, his sponsor is pretty much praising Isuku for his extraordinary martial prowess. And since they are far from the, the uh, beaten and dishonored combatants and their sponsors, Isuku does lend a beat on them. He knows exactly who his monster is, Mr. Yairuzu. Though he might seem a bit different with his lame ass disguise, big mustache and beard, Yizugu, of course, is a bit different. Like, how'd you know it was me? That doesn't matter. All that matters is, we made some money today, and I had fun. Why don't you uh, contact me next time you have a fight scheduled? I like this way of making money. Damn kid. He's not careful, he's gonna get himself killed. Should be around my daughter's age. Oh well. She never had too much money. Guess I'll get on to that. So for this whole 10 months, Izuku is training and street fighting. When it comes to, yeah, the whole no holds barred fights. Izuku is making quite the name for himself. The only real problem is, yeah, he does get in trouble with the law since street fights are illegal. He has had to be uh, escorted by a policeman at least two or three times. Inko is worried about him, but he always finds a way to put her mind at ease, saying that he's fine. He doesn't have to worry about really getting hurt. He's more than strong enough. However, Inko, who still wanted to keep her best mom status, does uh, try grounding him. As well as, of course, Threats when it comes to the parents and they love threatening you. When it comes to you not doing what they want sometimes. One of the things it does really work with it being Inko. Because even though she not only can she really not physically hurt him, but considering that people are hearing about him. As well as knowing how strong he's shown himself to be. Who's going to check him? Without having one hell of a quirk or a damn army to back them up. So yeah, her persuasion doesn't work. But Izuku does end up telling her, okay, that may be a way for me to not continue doing this. If I find someone potentially knock some sense into me. Or someone who can help scratch this itch and help me uh, get stronger. But still be able to handle me just in case I do end up going off the deep end. And yeah, Ingo knows that there are a lot of court individuals in the world, but the odds of really finding someone who knows Izuku and knows his reputation 
And willingly wants to fight him. She knows that's pretty damn slim. Possible, maybe, but still. I'd rather uh, have my uh, jaw and skull and uh, ribs and stay intact. That way, worth that risk. So it's now nearing the end of the 10 months training arc. Suku's got stronger, and he's made a lot of money through these fights. In fact, he says this is going to be his last fight for a while. Just one more good old fight. My problem is, no one really wants to fight him. Except uh, one person. Somehow, this uh, teenage teenager around the same side, same uh, build and size of Zuku, except more bulk, wants to actually fight him. And hmm, Zuku is a way he's around my age, and he's a, he might be a bit older, but yeah. Okay. He has a quirk? Yes. Oh, what is it? Hardening. Excuse me. And his skin turns into a rock-like substance. Actually, if anything, it seems like his whole body really does. Hair, eyes, and such included. But yes, if anything, Apparently, he heard about you through the grapevine, and he was interested. Wait, wait, seriously? Apparently, he thinks you're very manly. Huh, what's his name? Hiroshima. Hmm, Ichiro Hiroshima. Hmm. So he wants to fight me because I'm manly? Well, he did get his whole sob story about how he wants to be stronger and become a hero and yada yada yada. He plans on joining UA High. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Why? Huh. That's, that's high school I plan on going to. If he plans on going there, it could be a very interesting dynamic. Okay. I like it. Let's do it. Upon him and fighting, it is a, not as interesting as Izuku thought it would be. All Kirishima was doing is pretty much a baller style type of combat. Oizuku is actually using more of a particular martial art style. And every time he knocks down Hiroshima, he won't stay down. No bell, no timer, just straight hands and or quirk. So you can imagine how Oizuku feels a wee bit frustrated that this one person refuses to get up. But as the fight continues, he notices, like, wow, this guy has some real spirit. No matter how many times I knock his ass down, he refuses to give up. Now that is a very admirable quality. But then he starts to know something. Not only is he refusing to give up, but Izuku is starting to run low on stamina. So he starts to administer even more force, more punches, to the point where he, Kirishima's skin is starting to break off. 
His quirk ain't wearing off, but his skin is starting to really uh, crumble to pieces. But for some reason, he refuses to, just to give up and accept defeat. And he's just, though, liking the fact that this guy is probably a punching bag that punches back, it's not so fun when he starts to notice changes in his movements. He starts to notice, huh, wait, why is, why is his stance look, starting to look familiar? Why does it feel like, oh no. As then Izuku starts getting more injured, he starts realizing, oh man, he's not fighting like a brawler anymore. He's fighting like he knows what he's doing. He, like a game one martial artist. Which is crazy as hell, considering it's been a straight fist fight with him. He's wondering what's changed. He wonders why is this feeling so familiar why is it like deja vu for some stupid reason he's wondering and this is when they end up knocking each other out it being a draw but considering that it was just a personal type fight hell Kirishima didn't really have much to lose besides ah, I want to fight you I want to see how strong you are, how strong I am. Yeah, that one punch really drove the point home that Izuku ain't no slouch, and the is Kirishima. Even though it ended in a draw, Izuku was the first one to actually wake up. And then he's like, wow, this... Well, this, this is really it. Yeah, hell, I might as well go out in a blaze of fury, but I can't, I can't imagine. I didn't expect this fight to be so much fun. Kirishima wakes up and he's, You are crazy strong. What's your quirk? Wait, you know me, but you don't know that I'm quirkless? Wait, that, that's true? Yeah. You're, you're joking, right? No. I'm cordless. Oh my god, I thought that was a... That was a... Marketing tactic or something. I thought that was a joke, but you're... Honest to god, cordless? Oh, holy hell. I... I don't know what to say. What, you got a problem with cordless people? No, I'm... I don't admire you even more. What? Hey, let's be honest. Cordless people aren't seen as pure powerhouses, especially when it comes to the quirks out there. But you? You're something else. You're... Huh. That's actually pretty crazy. I mean, what kind of training did you do to get this strong? Okay, I was not anticipating this. But yeah, if anything, I trained like hell. It all started when my uh, asshole of a best friend decided to start acting brand new around me. Huh. That's, that's uh, too bad to hear, but... Huh. But if anything, can we be friends?
Hey, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Seriously, we we just got through with beating the crap out of each other. Of course, we can't be friends. I am. Uh, no, we can't be friends. We're more like brothers. Uh, I um. Oh, okay. Wow. Sure. Uh, Kirishima, was it? Nah. Call me brother. Okay. Uh, er, uh, <laughs> um, did you, did, did I hit you too hard? No, I'm good. Seriously, you, you are... Huh. You really are different from uh, regular people. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, you are definitely different. I don't even know if you're being insulted or not. But still, you are interesting. So... I heard you want to go to UA. Yeah, yeah. I, seriously, I, it's one of the best, uh, you know, he, hero schools, and I thought, why not uh, start there? Hmm. All right, that's that's not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. But if anything. I'll see you there. What? Oh yeah. I'm going to UA too. And all I can say is, don't disappoint me, Kirishima. I say I need from my brother to make me look bad. I... My brother. Yes. Hmm. Uh, I'm a little jittery now. I. All right, you call me brother. Exactly. Upon going home, Inko does notice the damn bruises. Okay, that is it. You have got to stop street fighting. Okay. I don't want to hear your excuses. Wait, what? I said, okay, I won't street fight no more. Don't think you can try to talk your way out of this. I know you're just going to sneak out. No, I'm, I'm actually not interested anymore. Excuse me? Yeah. Remember that condition I, I had? Like I found it. It has been fulfilled. Really? Yeah. I can also say this individual I have found is quite interesting. I mean, I just say that to, for so me for me to put my guard down, and then you come back home with a bunch of bruises from street fighting. No, no. This ain't no ploy. It's just how it is. Really? Yep. Oh, oh my goodness, that's, that's great! Uh, I mean, yeah, uh, wait, so you lost? No, it was a tie. Which I'm kind of pissed about. Why? I don't like to lose. Lose losing isn't that bad as long as you survive the fight. I've seen how street fights can be. You're not guaranteed to be the same afterwards. I know. Look how street fighting, your tactics, your strength is all that matters. It can help, though you could try to bribe someone. It's up to them to take it, but still. It's so... It was so interesting. 
Yeah, I'm gonna lie, I'm gonna miss it. But, <clears throat> same thing. I have to get ready for this test and hopefully me and my brother end up passing it together. <sighs> That's great to hear. Wait, what, brother? <laughs>